President Biden staying up way past his bedtime to warn America that democracy is about to end forever. And the only way to save it is to keep Democrats in power. Surprised? Because voting for Republicans will destroy the republic and the fabric of space and time itself. Biden says MAGA candidates are putting America on a path to chaos, which sounds like a pretty good heavy metal band. This is a struggle we're now in, a struggle for democracy, a struggle for decency and dignity, a struggle for prosperity and progress, a struggle for the very soul of America itself. This is a choice we can make. Disunion and chaos are not inevitable. The remarkable thing about American democracy is this. Just enough of us, on just enough occasions, have chosen not to dismantle democracy, but to preserve democracy. We must choose that path again. Because democracy is in the ballot. Astronomer Carl Sagan once said that extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence which we add, except in politics, when you're a Democrat, then you can say the very worst things possible without a shred of data. But if nefarious MAGA Republicans are such a mortal threat, why is Joe Biden only talking about it now that his party is about to get their butts handed to him? Biden also forgot to tell Americans that Democrats spent over 50 million bucks to get these exact Republicans on the ballot. And if you thought that what Biden said was extreme, the media's favorite so-called historian and the ladies of The View are about to make him look like Mother Teresa. A historian will say what was at stake tonight and this week was the fact whether we will be a democracy in the future, whether our children will be arrested and conceivably killed. We're on the edge of a brutal authoritarian system, and it could be a week away. Yes. No, you're not Go ahead. voting Go for ahead. Republicans. You're voting for a cult. Remember that. It's a cult. It's not Republicans anymore. White Republican suburban women are now going to vote Republican. Why? It's almost like roaches voting for raid, right? It's, I, it's I like think that's they're that's voting, no, it's insulting they're voting to the against, voter. They're we, we, voting no, against no. their own self-interest. Like when she's pretend, pretending to think, she always looks up. Like this is not like a really major moment. I know that when the Republicans win, I'm going to go out and kill a bunch of kids. <laughs> so let's talk to the true cast member of the five, Judge Janine. Oh. Look at that, huh? Had a little Bad. surgery. Yep. I'm yeah. thrilled to be back, though. Yeah, yeah. I don't like staying home and watching television and eating candy. Does that mean I get to answer first? Yes. <laughs> you know what is amazing about all of this? It was Joe Biden who I think in this the, the first iteration of this speech, when he started talking about, you know, he's standing there with the military behind him and the red, the red light saying that, you know, military, suggesting that military force would be used against you mm -hmm. if you don't make sure that you get rid of these extreme MAGA Republicans who are 73 million people who voted for Donald Trump. But I, I'm tired of the soul of the nation. Americans are tired of the soul of the nation, the soul searching. And in the end, they're angry. They're angry because they can't afford food. They can't afford gas. They can't afford to pay for the heat that's coming up this winter. And the Democrats are only talking about ideology. And the, the, the amazing part is they have the House, the Senate, the Oval, the mainstream media, uh, big tech, and they still have an America, 80% of whom thinks America is not on the right track. So they're losing. And so now they're off their rocker. I can tell you the man is off his rocker. And by the way, the one thing that you mentioned, Greg, mm -hmm. is that they're funding people like Carrie Lake. Thank God the woman's a superstar. Mm -hmm. So you know what? They can complain all they want about, you know, we're going to kill people uh, and that we're going to arrest people. But the truth is... They are misaligned with Americans and what we want. I feel like I'm ready to just arm wrestle. <laughs> Your can't. hands up like this I the whole can't. time. I'm she can still beat you. It's like it's the over blood, the top two with the Judge Janine. Blood flows down. It feels better. Yeah. I'm sorry. It, mm -hmm. No, don't be sorry. Thank you. It looks great. <laughs> it looks awful. It doesn't look awful. Okay. All right. Enough of this silliness. You know, Dana, you predicted that this would be a do-over of the of that creepy speech he made, and it was a do-over, but it had no energy. It ha had no vibe other than this kind of morose, sad, deceitful, doddering old man. Remember he and he did that speech right before Labor Day weekend, and it was like, wait, that's weird timing. And then this one was even more weird. It was it was like they woke up in the morning at the White House and said, we are in big trouble in a lot of places. The only thing we could do is maybe. 
do another one of these speeches. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so then they shut down Union Station. And I couldn't believe it. I'm watching primetime last night. And Jesse's show pops up the picture, the video. I, I really had to do a double take. I said, oh, th I thought it was a joke. I really thought it was a joke because here you shut down this beautiful building and you have a backdrop that you could have been giving a speech in Omaha at yeah. the Chamber of Commerce. Mm -hmm. It looked so weird. I'm like, I don't understand. But look at this. How, and, and then when they took the wide shot, it was there. I just think the stagecraft is so weird. It was put together in a strange way. It also felt like it had 20 different authors for this for one speech. He kept saying that the same thing over and over again. The soul of the nation comes from somebody, and it's inherently meaningless because there is no soul to a nation. We're all different people. Well, isn't people. that from the historian? Yeah, exactly. I think that he, yeah. he meets with them quite a bit. Alyssa Slotkin is one of the Democrats like Abigail Spamberger, but <laughs> she was quoted in a newspaper article today saying that in her district in Michigan, She's, and she's a Democrat. She said, no one's talking about this. Mm -hmm. She says this on the record. She says, nobody's talking about this. And it doesn't help any of these people that are running. Last night, Maggie Hassan in New Hampshire is running against General Bulldog. He, she tried to say, oh, actually, I worked with Trump more than I did with Biden. She's uh. voted with Biden 96.4% of the time. Sad. So she's on the run. Finally, the last point I would make is Biden and Harris tried to make Georgia the part the the soul of the nation democracy is in trouble no one's going to be able to vote and now you've seen these vote to the early vote totals they are surpassing what they anybody ever expected almost more than a presidential year mm -hmm. and i think that now they're going to have to serve on election night for joe biden jim crow 2.0 yes oh. how's that gonna taste oh uh, it's gonna be very bitter it won't <laughs> taste like jim eagle <laughs> that's delicious <laughs> jessica are you ready for a perceptive question I guess so. <laughs> Isn't what Biden is doing to a segment of the American population exactly what Kamala did to him in the debate, which is not actually saying the truth, but just playing the game? I don't think Biden believes anything he's saying. And then afterwards, when they question Kamala, they go, you called him racist. And remember, she laughed. She said, oh, it's just a debate. Isn't that what he's doing? He does, it, it, to him, the truth doesn't matter. It's just trying to win. Well, I think Kamala did think that there were segregationists and people who wanted to bus black kids around. And Joe Biden does believe that there are insurrectionists and election deniers who are a genuine threat to our democracy. Except they it's supported very, him. Well, that is a tactic in, in elections that I never supported. Because if even one of them wins, mm -hmm. then it's undone the entire. Apology so, accepted, Jessica. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, Soul of the nation and talking about election denialism and the importance of democracy is a presidential issue. It's not a midterm issue. And that's where it's just out of place. And he's been consistently talking about this since January 6th. This is not something that is out of the blue. But midterm elections are about the kitchen table, always, which is why the president in power loses the yeah. midterm election right after. And I think it was a real missed opportunity on that front. And, you know, Barack Obama, and I've seen a lot of people on TV lately talking about how many seats he lost, and that's absolutely true down to, you know, state legislatures up to the Senate. But he understands what you're supposed to be talking about now. And yes, it does matter that people don't respect our election laws necessarily, but what matters more is that people are concerned at the gas pump. They're concerned about Thanksgiving. There was that new survey out that one in five people feel that they're going to have to compromise their Thanksgiving plans. Those are things that people remember going forward. Um, so should have gone to the Phillies game, but Jill Biden did go. Yeah, that was she a, showed up in the yeah. third inning. Right. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You were right. And left on the fifth. You know, Jesse, in the green room, you noticed that I was going to quote Carl Sagan. He said, you said he's your favorite astronomer. What's your favorite Carl Sagan book? There's so many of them. I can't really <laughs> put my finger on <laughs> his latest one. <laughs> he passed away. <laughs> the last one he wrote before he passed <laughs> away. On his deathbed. Yes. But to Carl Sagan's point, the voters want something with teeth. Yes. You can't get out there and say democracy is going to die if you vote Republican and not explain how is it going to die. Mm -hmm. Are Republicans going to cancel the next election? Is Mitch McConnell <laughs> going to tell Gavin Newsom he's not allowed to run for president? As much as I would like that, that's preposterous. Democrats know it's preposterous because if they actually thought this was going to be a, a case, they'd be ahead in early voting. Even MSNBC doesn't buy it, Greg, <laughs> and they'll buy anything. This guy is campaigning on the last election and the next election. And 2022 is like, Joe, <laughs> we're over here. Focus on me. 
The guy has locked himself in Delaware for months, and he's doddering about MAGA, 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 and everyone's like, can you just please lower the prices? And if I hear, Greg, this is an inflection point yeah. of autocracy and democracy, one more time, I'm going to fall off my chair. He plagiarized it from some historian and keeps hitting us over the head with it like a nutty professor. We don't want to hear that lecture. We want to hear what you're actually going to do. And he actually sounds like he's a communist Chinese leader because he's the one raiding his opponent's house. What? He's the one censoring free speech on the Internet. He's doing all the things that he's warning us are going to happen. I just can't wait for our very own stupid son of a bitch the day <laughs> after the midterm election to say to the White House press secretary, so... We had a red wave. Is democracy dead? Mm -hmm. yeah. There you and go. And I can't wait to hear her what she says. I just want to add one thing. If a white host, female host, compared black yeah. women to, to roaches, roaches, imagine. She yes. really needs to ask permission before she makes an analogy. <laughs> yes, she should probably ask for forgiveness, too. Yeah. No, not in a million years yeah. will she. Yeah. You're a roach in her eyes. Yep. Mm -hmm. We All are. Right. Yeah. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.